Hello YouTube, the Eye of Stone here, and today we are going to be doing Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Justine. Lucky me, lucky all of you. It's always fun in the chamber of perturbation, the cabinet of perturbation. Excuse me. That kind of mistake will get you in trouble here. Okay. Really, I don't know why I do this. Well, on the plus side, the game starts out so the, the game starts starts with us being brutally murdered by a zombie. So, well, we can't play the game. The game's over now. Check in the box. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. No, there is not. Two out of three counts for this mod. There is one who we cannot save. get this road on the show. She's really not that interested in uh in running at this point. Let's not do that. That's nice. Friendly word of advice, when you are playing Amnesia Justine, do not, um, do not neglect to pick up that ladder fragment. For all the good it'll do us. you are. If you could help me, I would be much obliged. Help me! Please, help me! You don't want my help. I am not a good gal. Shit.
Let's dog walk ourselves over here and close the damn door. <laughs> Salutations, Inspector Moreau. As you very well know, the Chief of Police and Callias has turned down my request to pursue Justine for stealing my son away. Ever since their affair started, Alois, my son, has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seems unable to find a crime within the realm of Mademoiselle Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier. Later this week, he is a respectable alienist, an expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. If he is able to diagnose her as an hysteric, it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you and your agency will not turn us down. Cordially, Lucien Racine. Yeah, that worked out real well for everybody. We don't want to think about who was in here. This is not a room we want to be in. In fact, we've definitely closed the door behind us on this one. Now then. Right. You're sure about that. It's pretty late. Our father in heaven, our dear name. Justine. I am feeling a bit unusual, actually. Forgive me. still have the game to play. Let's see. Justine, my love, I know I am not as talented as Mallow or as strong as Basile, but I am certain my love is truer. Do not my scars tell you so. I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Basile if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. Poor Justine, I will help you. Just ask me to help. Neither... Alois nor Basile are stronger than Mallow. Okay. We weren't distracted by anything in there. Anyone there? Don't do that. <laughs> Alright. Start building. Crate stacking. A lot of you watching this will say, no, it's barrel stacking. But because I'm the one playing this, it's not barrel stacking, it's crate stacking. I hate it when they get perpendicular the way I need them. That's a common mess up in this game. I never really figured out what the trick is to set them right once they get wonky like this. 
probably just sooner getting a different one. Don't even think about it. Come on, get up there. Seriously. How did you escape? Who says I escaped? There, finally. Probably, I can go about this slightly differently. Since that seems to be giving me so much trouble. Now we're really crate stacking. Yes, there actually is a purpose to this. Let's see. Have you seen Justine? Who? <laughs> I have turned this sequence into a real comedy of errors, haven't I? <sighs> okay, maybe this will be sufficient. Much as I like these noises she's making right now, this is not getting us where we need to be going. I just wonder if they're let's see. see anyone there? Well, you know, it's probably for the better. Let's just get Aloy's attention. Alright, now. Alright. Look at that, he can be taught. Simple climbing structure should not be causing me this much difficulty, although I have not had to execute this procedure in an amnesia game for a number of years. I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to estimate when the last time I actually did Justine might have been. It's been a long time. Well, that actually worked. Now. Boy, whatever you do, don't knock my structure over. Monty, 
climb the ladder. Okay. Come on, Justine. Get your cute hiney up there. Ugh, finally. Alright, now. We might need all of this stuff to get the hell out of here. And it suffices to make a big mess. We need that. Let's not forget anything. Not going to be coming back up here. So. Alright. Now then. Have you seen Justine? Alright. No, 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 no. Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things right. Who needs ya? I've got these to work with. Help me! Please help me! Boy, she really can't run. Okay. Now we gotta move. This isn't like Penumbra at all. Ah, but we have a cylinder. <laughs> Speak into the phonograph, Basile, mon chéri. Uh, what did you put into the wine? Absent, silly Basile. Strong men like you don't drink wine. Wine is for helpless women, like myself. My head, what is this thing? Get me out! I'm not up for your games. No! <laughs> you have to say it first. How beautiful am I? Plenty. Now let me out of this thing! No! That is not what you say. Uh, your beauty is blinding. Ah! My eyes! What have you done to my eyes? Justine! This isn't funny! You've blinded me! Ha-ha! Can't catch me now! I'll kill you, you whore! I'm inclined to let him. But that would result in me having to start this all the way over from the beginning, so I'm less inclined to do that. It's not that it won't budge. It's not that it won't budge. It will not budge. You've got to get it right. Okay, what do we got here? All kinds of fun stuff. Hey, 
That's not absinthe. Boy. Oh. Uh huh. Travesty at the conservatory. Many Parisians had gathered last night to enjoy the performance of violin virtuoso Malo Divigny. It was to be the grand premiere of several new arrangements of songs by fellow composer George Bizet, but the evening took an unexpected turn. Young Malo Divigny turned up visibly intoxicated. His violin cried as the bow was jerked across the strings. The audience seemed forgiving at first, but started to boo the man off stage as he defaced the beloved song. You'll have to pardon my French. I'm not even going to attempt that. Uh, the stress apparently got the best of the young musician as he threw his bow into the audience and finally collapsed. It's like something I would do. Mademoiselle Justine, who is, according to rumors, romantically involved with Monsieur Divigny, took, uh, looked quite amused by the event and had two of her friends, Basile Giraud and Alois Ressian, carry him off the stage. The evening was saved by other musicians at the conservatory who who was able, who were able to perform a most delightful impromptu concerto in Malo Divigny's absence. The audience showered their saviors with praise and calls for encore were awarded with spectacular pieces by both Offenbach and Chopin. What do we got here? Congratulations for coming this far. I am so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. He was a friend, and a colleague of my papa, you know. Friendly fellow, a real bon garçon, but frail of mind. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please, go on. We are just getting started. Uh-huh. All right, now she can run. Delightful. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. How cryptic. Who, who are you? Who's there? You'll burn for this. You'll burn for this. We need that. Boy, I suddenly feel better about my problems. He probably does too. Let's see. Justine, age eight. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick at a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid hurt us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off into the air. Today I was the one with open arms. Justine, age nine. Today I played with the slides from Father's Lightbox. Above all, 
I like the man standing on the right. Father asked why. I said, he sees things he likes. Today I was the right one. Justine, age 10. Father said I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. Hmm. A lot of YouTubers have read something into that statement. There is, after all, a slide with one of the guys kneeling, but of course, YouTube game fan scholar speculators. Uh, let's see. Justine, age 11. Father came for me in my room. Today, father came for me in my room. I still couldn't look him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed and that I only tried to fill the void left by mother. When he wasn't looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today, I was the one with the sword. Okay, well, clearly something happened. Okay, clearly. Uh, uh, several things happened. I'm not... Sick, twisted child. Exactly. And I'm not arguing that for a second, but... It's like we get it. How how far into it do you have to read? There's... Not exactly the need to go over that type of thing with a fine tooth comb. Um, amnesia leaves few enough stones unturned as it is. Let's see. Picked up slide three. We need that. Okay. Let's backtrack a bit. The tests have been going well. The most long-term and, in a sense, the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day, is a great way to see the larger, lo the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she is able to effortlessly reduce all her experiences into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult, as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I am asking. Alright. Sake of thoroughness. Let's see. 12th January 1839. Dear Sir, I am sorry to hear about your daughter Justine's unruly behavior. Rest assured that this does not diminish your work, nor does it make your idea of the natural developing mind less appropriate as a field of study. I have met plenty of scholars here in London enthralled by your hypotheses and stated that it could be one of the most important ideas of the modern era. It has been suggested that the mind is not only molded by experience, but could also be stricken with disease without physiological sign. Perhaps this line of thinking could be applied to your child. I wish I could devote my letter to consolidation. However, I write to you with a request. I require passage into Algeria, and I need Frenchmen of great standing to vouch for my person. I am certain the name of uh, Florbeil, excuse my French, um, would greatly speed the process and grant me the permits I require. It pains me to ask this of you in your time of distress, but if you could suffer my inconvenience, I would be greatly in your debt. Yours sincerely, Herbert. Yes, my French is non-existent. See, we need that. 
I don't think there's really anything in here beyond that. memory serves, there's something... Let's see... There we go. Shipment slip. Congratulations on your fine purchase. The Lumina projection box with accompanying puzzle lock is the pride of our company and our greatest seller. Having earned your patronage, we would like to share with you privileged insight on our newest workings. The span space device. This new machine is unlike anything you have ever witnessed. Come and visit our testing facilities and try our new state-of-the-art inventions in a safe environment. Please write your name and address on the back of the slip and mail it back to us at AS Inc. Boston, Massachusetts. I guess that's what I was remembering. Okay, never mind. Boy. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Look out for just thee. All right. I am not capable of more mercy than that. Sooner or later, self preservation has got to start kicking in. I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry, I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves us from trying. You don't try to save anyone, Justine. You don't save nobody. Now. make our way was not really nearly the warm-up it may have seemed like it was. Ugh, this is just... I'm 
I'm sure you have figured out how it all works by now. Are you enjoying my quips? I think they are quite clever. Not that I was ever much of a conversationalist. Poetry has always been my forte. But I digress. You should press on. It will all be over soon. Also, the police are here. Maybe they can help you. No, they can't. And you won't help me, and I am screwed. He's gonna come through my screen. Okay, we probably need that. It's a safe bet. It's all just for ambiance, I guess. 7th July 1839. Sir, my name is Daniel, a friend and colleague of Professor Herbert. As I have come to understand, you are among his most trusted friends and confidants. Therefore, I shall reveal my predicament in hope that you can shed some light on the matter. Earlier this year, Herbert and I set out on an expedition to the deserts of Algeria. While looking for the legendary tomb of Tin Hanan, we happened upon a cavern temple buried deep beneath the sand. In its inner sanctum, I retrieved a stone orb which cracked and split into several pieces. Due to exhaustion, I was sent back to Britain and waited for his return. I have since lost all contact with Herbert and find myself deeply troubled by the whole affair. I believe Herbert knew more than he was telling and that he sent me back to protect me from whatever ancient horror we may have stirred. If you can share any insight on the matter, I would be most grateful. Forever in your debt, Daniel. You know, it's intriguing. It's an intriguing snippet. I wish we learned more about how it all fit fit in a little bit more yeah that's probably where he's going to come from are we really going to do this I guess we are. We actually made it. Ooh, too bad about that cop Moreau 
Hercule Poirot guy. He didn't. Inspector Moreau, are you still with us? No. I'm looking forward to see if you managed to save him or not. I know very little about him, but surely he had a family, don't you think? Poor, poor fatherless children. But he falls on his own sword. His kind is not meant to come for people like me. Laws are made for credits. The aristocracy doesn't need to know right from wrong. We are always right. You sure about that, Justine? Come here to America and try that. Oh, that wasn't nice. We're fed up with that aristocratic elite stuff. This is a scary place. Uh, trying to get to the note. Herbert, I have contacted the consulate and they said they will send you the permits you need for visiting Algeria. I wish you good luck on your search and that your findings will come at a lower price than mine. I am at a loss with my studies. My daughter has become distraught and distant. I did little to control her behavior, yet I believe the very notion of my observation has made her this way. My scientific indifference to our tests has not left her with an indifferent opinion. She finds my lack of reaction disappointing. She judges me, and most importantly herself, by the results of the tests. The reason I have had trouble finding any consistency within her character is because she tries different approaches to provoke me and her actions only become more and more disturbing. Yesterday I lost myself and scolded her. She was terrified and humiliated. It saddens me greatly to bring my studies to a close without seeing it to the end, but I can no longer trust my research. I have to mend my relationship with my daughter. Yeah. Okay. That's... What was mother like? She was the most beautiful creature ever to grace this world. I can't remember what she looked like no matter how hard I try. Her beauty was blinding, Justine. We could never dare to change such a memory to our minds. It would be too much to bear. She's barely answering the helm. These orbs. Well done. You have triumphed, conquered my cabinet. I wish I could tell you how you did, but alas, this is a recording. You will have to figure it out all by yourself. Did anyone survive? The doctor, the priest, or perhaps the policeman. Who is allowed to live? Why? You should really reflect on these past events and consider what they meant to you. What you have learned about your true nature. Father never knew me. He thought he did, but then he was frightened. And nothing was ever the same again. I can still see him, lying there on the floor. He looked so surprised. The star-shaped soapstone stained by his blood fell to the floor with a sonorous thud. Blame me not, for I was but a child. With careful ambition, I dared a smile. Rest in peace, Papa. Can we go now? <laughs> I 
Let's see. What will that perfect sphere bring? We must. Yes, let's see. References to the orbs. Climb the highest tower. Kind of lost. And so it comes to an end. Now that you have seen what you truly are, you are able to go on and face eternity without fear. Um. I want to have full health when I die. was the best one yet. So elaborate. It's just too much. Enough of this. Get up, Justine. Open the door and let us remove ourselves from this dungeon. God be praised. You have been the Open the door. It's all right. No one will be coming through that door. It's locked and bolted. Have a uh, have a torch. Don't want any of the guests coming in here. Mademoiselle Justine, are you down there? Is everything all right? Of course, Clarice. I'm quite all right. Is everything ready for tonight? Yes, the goose is ready any minute now. The guests should be arriving within the hour. Clarice, I know it's a busy day, but make sure to post this letter for me, okay? Certainly, Mademoiselle Justine. Urgent, is it? Not really. 
It's already years late. I just thought they should know. I'm still alive. Yes, and against all odds, so am I, and so are all of you. So I will see everybody back next time, and we will continue the right, proper Amnesia the Dark Descent. Let's play enough of this uh, awful aside.